it's TX Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to my video today because I think you're going to love this one. This is a great idea to make 12 cards really easily, no matter what the occasion. Now, my cards are Christmas cards, but don't let that fool you. You could make 12 birthday cards, 12 thank you cards. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I have a lot to share with you as we go along. So we're going to switch our video, fix our video, our camera. I am using a um, suite from Stampin' Up called Lights Aglow. And I opened up this little mini catalog uh, to this page. If you do not have this mini catalog or my annual catalog, and you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'm more than happy to send you one. Just look below the video and find um, my blog and then request, my, request a catalog over there on my blog. Now, the stamp set that I'm using, or stamp sets rather, is called Christmas Lights Bundle and Brightest Glow Bundle. Okay, those are really tiny pictures. So let's bring them into the camera. Here's our brightest glow. I love the words. Okay, we've got some scripty fonts. We've got some um, regular, you know, regular fonts. So a mixture of fonts here. Uh, greetings to go inside. Greetings to go on the outside. And then we have our Christmas tree. And then we have this little, little bitty Christmas tree. Keep that in mind because you're going to see that again. Um, I did not use the star, the snowflake on my cards, but again, you can see these two up close. Now, these are called bundles, and in the whole suite, you get both stamp sets and the dies. So let's bring the dies over. So these dies are called um, twinkling lights. Okay, so we've got those in there, and they obviously go with the Christmas lights uh, stamp set. And then we have, to go with Brightest Glow, um, we've got some dies that cut out the greetings, okay? So these two stamp sets were very helpful in making my cards. But again, don't think just Christmas. If you have already purchased this, these uh, stamp sets and dies, you're going to be all set, okay? The paper that I chose is also here in this suite. Um, these items are on page 30 and 31 of the uh, mini catalog. And this paper is called Lights of Glow Specialty Paper because it has little bits of gold in it. So that makes it special. I'm also using the red and gold festive um, embellishments. I did not use these three items on my cards. You could, but I didn't. So there you go. All right, let's move this out of the way. And first, I thought we would just start by me showing you the cards, okay? So I'm going to show you the 12 cards that I designed, and then we're going to show you how easy it is for you to make them at home. Okay, so we're going to start with our cherry cobbler. We've got some embossing, and I'm telling you, I think that anytime you do heat set embossing, it just steps up the card and makes it very elegant, okay? So I've got some embossing here on my Christmas tree. But I want you to start focusing on the layouts of my cards. Okay, we're seeing the same layouts. Okay, changing up our images, changing up our greetings makes these two cards look totally different. Here we go again. We've got that same layout. Again, changing our greeting. There we go. Same layout. You can't quite see the two pieces of paper under here because of my tree. Um, this one, I did use the Stylish Shapes dies from Stampin' Up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a totally different layout. But I do want to point these out to you because you these are part of your 12 cards that you'll be making. Here are those uh, festive um, embellishments. And then I pulled out our good old friends, the rhinestones. We, they don't get any love anymore. And I love blingy cards. Okay, so we're going to stack these here and we're going to see those again. How about our green tones? Okay. So here is this card, oops, still the same layout. We've got our tree maybe on the other side. We've got our greeting. Um, this one I actually took from the catalog. Um, I took that, so watch, guys, when you're looking at the Stampin' Up! catalogs, look for inspiration, okay? When I pulled this out, look at that. Mine's a little bit different, that's okay. 
but I was inspired by that. I wanted mine to be a, a fatter circle, but yeah, so mine was inspired by this card. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is the same, but that, okay? So look at these cards when you are looking at the catalogs, whether in person or online, and be inspired by them, okay? The artists do a great job. Okay, so here we go again, same layout, same layout. We've got our distressed gold paper there that we've actually cut the tree with. Just so pretty. Okay, here we go with our green hues. Look at that itty bitty Christmas tree. I told y'all you were gonna see it again, okay? All right, so what does it take to make these cards? Let's do it. So we're gonna put the green ones over here and we're gonna have the red ones over here. All right, let me get my paper trimmer. And we're going to put that right in the screen so we can see it. And we're going to get our paper. Um, I just realized that I cut all of my paper, but I did not pull out the paper that we need to use for the actual layouts. I cut all my layers, in other words. Okay, when you're choosing your paper, you want non-directional paper to uh, use for this, this idea. And I'm gonna show you the difference in just a minute of one that is directional in case you're going, what, is she, what does she mean by non-directional? What does that mean? All right, what is our other pattern here? All right, we're gonna get this one here. So we just want, we don't wanna use that, okay? That would not work. Um, and I don't want to use the darker colors. This is a directional paper. You see that with the trees? We don't want that. And we're going to move this out of the way. Now, where's my other paper that I was going to show you as an example? Uh, let's see here. Here it is. So here, here's some bright, bold ones. These are obviously directional. They would not work for this type of layout that we're getting ready to do. Okay. So we don't want, we don't want to use those together. It wouldn't work. You could use the back sides. That would not be a problem. Okay. So even though my cards are Christmas, like I said, I want you to think, what if I don't want Christmas cards? What if I'm done with my Christmas cards? Well, this is October the 20th and yay you, if you're done with your Christmas cards, just saying. All right. So we are going to, Put our paper in the order that we want it and I'm going to go with that. So I have four pieces of paper. I'm still calling this non-directional because it doesn't matter if I get bits of it in the uh, cutting. So I don't want you to stress about now what is she going to do and how much is she going to cut and writing down all those measurements. Okay. I love to give free downloads on my blog. So after this video airs on 7 p.m. Central on October 20th at 8 o'clock p.m. Central. You'll be able to go over and get the free download of my project and pictures of all my cards, okay? So I don't want you to stress and think, oh, I got to write this down. I need a piece of paper. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just watch the video. Relax. I've got you covered. Okay, so we are going to put all four pieces of paper in our paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut off one and three quarters. I think I'm going to do it this way. It doesn't really matter, but I just want a lot of that gold in that one and three quarters piece. Okay, so we're going to cut. We want to make sure that we cut through all four layers, which the Stampin' Up! trimmer does. We're going to set this piece aside. And then we are going to take this piece that's left and we're going to cut it in half. So remember, this is six inches. These are six by six pieces of paper. Um, if you're trying to use a 12 by 12 piece, just cut your four pieces that are six by six. And so we're going to cut this in half. Okay, we're going to put that at the three inch mark. I was inspired to make this card by my team member. My, my, she's on my team. Her name is Christine Wiseman. So you guys give her a shout out. At our October meeting, she inspired the entire team with demonstrating this concept. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to share it with everybody else. Now, I think this concept has been out um, to do like a mix and match kind of thing. We're going to tweak it. We're going to make it our own. Okay. So I have taken that three inch by four and a quarter piece of paper, the stack, and I've cut it in half 
at one and a half inches. Okay, so we're going to put those right there. We're going to bring in this piece right here. Move those up a little bit. And so now what we have, we have our three inch by four and a quarter. Okay, and I want to bring this back over because now we're cutting this section right here. We're going to be tossing a little bit of this. We're going to cut off a quarter of an inch. Okay, so we're back down to just four inches. And, nope. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, did I read that wrong? We're going to cut off a quarter of an inch. Now, I know some of you crafty people out there are going to go, what can I do with these little matchstick pieces? You have fun with that. I'm throwing mine away. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to cut at one and a half. Okay. And what that left us is a big piece that's at two and a half by three. Okay. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it at one and a half again. Did I do that right? Let's make sure. We've got, yep. Sometimes you just have to stop and make sure you're doing the right thing. Let, mm, let's see. No, nope, that is, please tell me I didn't do it wrong. <laughs> this piece goes, let's see what this measures. This is three, so this is one and a half. If I messed up I on this video, I do have a backup. <laughs> okay, so then this piece should be, I'm going to show you. Here's how we're going to double check ourselves. I'm good. You see my piece fits right there on this square right here. We're going to cut it in half. Okay. So this should be one and a half. Boy, that looks skinny though. So one and a half and one and a half should be three. And this is not three. Why is this not looking right? One and a half by two and a half. Oh, this is two and a half. Sorry. This is two and a half. This is three. So yeah, we want, why is this not computing? You know what? If I was doing this live, we'd have the same conversation. Okay, so one and a half. Let's get our ruler. It just doesn't look like it when I go to put it in the um, paper trimmer. And so we want to measure what? How many times? Like four times before we cut. Okay, so that is two and a half. And so we want to cut it. Make sure, make sure we're at two and a half. Okay. Boy, that just doesn't look right. We're going to cut it at one and a half. I know where I messed up at, and I'll share with y'all in just a minute. So we have one and a half by two and a half. We have all of our pieces. It's just, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I'm telling you, if I was doing this live, I'd have done the same thing. I'd have got my ruler, and I'd have made sure. Okay, so now we're going to take all these pieces and we're going to sort them. I'm going to put my greens over here and my reds over here. Um, the other concept that I think is out there is like a shuffle, like to mix these all up. Um, but I, we're going to do it my way. This is how I like to do it. Um, I like to have all my greens and my reds. I wanted all my cards to... Um, be the same color family. If you want yours mixed up, you certainly can. So we're just putting our greens and our reds separated. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to start assembling our cards. Move this out of the way. Move this out of the way for right now. All right, so we're a little prep work ahead of time. You're going to fix four pieces of the cherry cobbler. If you want your cards to look like mine, four pieces of cherry cobbler. I have all the measurements in the download, so I'm not going to go through those now. 
And I cut, look what I did. I cut four gold, um, my layers, but I cut out the centers. Okay, this is a paper saving tip. The gold foil only comes two sheets in a pack. And I wanted to, what if I want to use this for something else? That would be a lot of wasted space, uh, a lot of wasted product that I could use on another card. I could use for layers on the front of this card, or I could use on another card. Okay, so a little paper saving tip for y'all. I just used the stitched frames, stitched rectangle stitch dies and cut those out. Okay. Um, I did choose to use cherry cobbler as my card base. Um, but if you wanted to just get 12 cards ready using the basic white thick, you could certainly do that as well. Okay, so we're going to bring in my card. Let's move all this down. And we're just going to put the layout together on this with this card. Okay, so I've got my cherry cobbler. Here, we'll start at the beginning. We're going to start with our base. We're going to lay our frame. We're going to get our adhesive and we're just going to catch those corners. I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 25 years and I just absolutely love sharing and teaching um, and I loved that my team member shared and taught at our team gathering. And I am just proud to share, you know, to, to toot her horn, or, you know, shout out her name here on my video and on my blog post. She's, she's going to, she's on the blog post as well. Um, because I really, I, I love to have my team members share on our meetings and everything. Um, we do lots of fun things. So this is October. Stampin' Up! has a fabulous, fabulous um, promotion about joining. If you are interested in saving money, joining a group of people who love to share and um, stamp together and inspire each other, we would love to have you on our team. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just following this layout right here, and we are making this card. We're putting this card together. So I'm going to get some of my pieces. So we've got this piece is going to go here, and then flip this over. Whoops, need a smaller piece. This piece is going to go here, okay? So that's our layout. And then we're going to put, doesn't matter. I'm just showing you my layout so that if you want to copy my cards, um, then you could do that. And I actually think I have the longer piece here, but it doesn't matter. You're seeing the same things. All right, we're going to push that aside. We're going to bring in our other one. We're going to bring in this one. And we're going to put our gold on. I typically do live videos and I um, wanted, I needed to go out of town. So this is a recording. Um, I invite you to join us live on our Thursday night stamping lives because I know that my, my regular stampers are just chatting away in the live chat box. And so I want to say hello to y'all. Because I know you're there. I know you're watching. Now, it's kind of funny. I have this here. But what would happen if we just left our stitched? I just want to take a look at this and see something. We could save even more paper. We could do it just like this. Hmm. This is a kind of a different idea. I didn't think about this. But I don't have as much space in between. So you can see that it is different. But it's just another thought. Okay, we're going to stick to what I did before. And we're just going to add this layer here. When you're making Christmas cards, we tend to be making a lot of them at one time. So this is a great way to make a lot of cards at one time for Christmas. Okay, we're just kind of centering that. And then over here we have this one. Yeah, 
yeah, so that, um, whoops, that, that one goes there. Am I missing one? Nope, here it is. There it is, right there. I'm like, oh, thought I'd missed a piece of paper. Um, the promotion that Stampin' Up! has during October is absolutely uh, the best that I've seen in a while. You know, they come out with different reasons or different promotions. Um, okay, so there's my layout. Okay, so we've got number two done. So in October, you can shop for anything you want up to $155. You're only going to pay $99 plus tax, okay? But you're going to get free shipping. And whenever you become a demonstrator, the word demonstrator is just kind of daunting. It's like, I am not, I know what you're thinking. You're like, I am not going to get on YouTube and do what she's doing. Absolutely no way. I don't blame you. Um, you don't have to. My team member members, most of them do it to get the discount. Just join for the discount. So when you go back to what the promotion is, shopping for anything you want for up to $155, only paying $99 and getting all of the free stuff you get, the free shipping, the free paper pumpkin, it equals about a $98 value. So if you are a regular Stampin' Up! customer, you should talk to me about it. Just saying. Here is layout number three. We're going to be putting this one together. Now, I did cut my paper sideways, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we've got our long piece there. I'm just going to put this on. I'm going to add this here. Okay. And then we have our short little square up in the corner. And then we have our, our bouquet, our bouquet uh, dots. We have that next. If you prefer to use liquid glue to put these on to get them all lined up, then you do it. You do what makes you feel best and comfortable. Now on this one, I used a different gold, but here I decided just to stick with the gold foil. And I did make this piece a little bit bigger. I don't know. I don't know what that measurement is, but I changed you know, it doesn't matter. Each of the cards are different. Okay, so how about this one? We've got, we should have three pieces left. So we're going to get our card base. We're going to get our foil. And we're going to add our adhesive on the corners. So sometimes the seal plus um, goes off the edge and I'm just bending that back. Hope you can see that on the video. Okay. So. And add our last piece of cherry cobbler. Putting this on. We have our... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to change it. I don't have very many with this side. I'm going to change it. That's my card. And that's what y'all can do. We have a saying in, stamp in our mystery stampers group called Go Rogue. You have all the pieces to make your card. Go Rogue. Okay. So we have our bigger piece is down there. Yep. We're going to put this... Yep, changed it up a little bit. We had to go rogue since we since we made one change, but that's okay. So I hope you get the gist of what all these layouts look like, what the, the actual design is, okay? Now, on this video, I'm just walking you through this. You may not have the stamp set yet. You may want to go ahead and you know, get your layouts done, get them all done, and then go through, stamp all your Christmas trees, do all the die cutting, stamp your greetings, do all the cutting, then just do an assembly line of adding them to all of your cards. Okay, so now let's do the green ones. For this one, we are using a basic watt layers. Now, here's another way of speeding this up a little bit. We're going to do this 
We're going to add our, so that is evening evergreen. For those of you wondering what color that is, this is soft sea foam. <laughs> I called it something else the other day on a video. So I'm like, mm, I better stop and think, what is that? So then the next thing I'm doing is I'm just adding my layers. So more of an assembly line process, which is another great tip. Whoops to get your mass producing of cards done. Um, I did make a video on mass producing Christmas, car mass producing cards. Gosh, was that last year? I think it was. Um, so we're gonna bring this in. I need to find that video and remind people that it's out there um, because it is very helpful whenever you're doing same type of cards over and over again. Um, it's just very helpful. There we go. And our fourth one. Okay. I mentioned mystery stamping. Every Monday we do mystery stamping, and that is where I don't stamp. Y'all do. I give you instructions, I give you clues to make a card while we're live. Okay. If you're interested in mystery stamping, you can reach out to me. You can find me, my website, my blog, how to order Stampin' Up, all that below all of my videos, okay? All right, so we're going to follow this layout. So we need this piece. Let's see if we can follow the, the directions this time. I'm going to need this piece. And then I'm going to need this piece for down here, okay? So I always like to start with the biggest piece. It gives me a better, um, I don't know, visual, I guess. And we're just putting this here. This would great, make a great mystery card. I just talked about mystery stamping. And so mystery stamping, I, I pretty much try to keep it very generic so that everyone can join us whether you have Stampin' Up! products or not. Um, okay, so sorry, my little puppy is barking in the background. Um, hopefully, hopefully daddy can get her. <laughs> All right, so then this is our next card. And we're going to add, eh, we'll put that up there, that gold right there. And then we have this piece right here. So I hope I didn't, hope she didn't make y'all's dogs bark at home. That's usually what happens. Um, but you know what? I work from home and life goes on, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so then we have this piece going right here. Whoops, push that a little bit. We have this piece up here. So once you have all of your pieces cut, which you saw how easy it was to cut these, you can just start that assembly line process and get your cards made. Now, the personal touches, I know I like to make personal touches on cards for certain people or for, you know, like my family or whatever. The personal touches is going to come in the design of adding your embellishments, your your images and your greetings and your embellishments, okay? So even though we're mass producing this part, um, it doesn't it doesn't have to be mass produced when you're finished. It doesn't have to look that way. All right, so this one we have, this piece goes right here. We've got this piece up here. I don't know, I just like to see more of that gold as much as I can. Oh, and let's talk about this. Do you see what I did? I took this circle and I centered it around. I was going to bring it in closer and I was like, no, it's almost like I'm framing or I'm showing off that gold uh, print on the designer series paper. Okay, so then we have this piece right here. I hope you like this idea. If you do, I would love to read your comments. Um, you can leave your comment underneath the video. I know my friends in the chat are commenting. Um, I aired this as a premiere so that they could still enjoy chatting. My 
regular viewers love to visit and chat with each other. I would love for you to become one of my regular viewers and get to know those fun people in my community. Um, so here we go with that. Okay, we have one more left. We're going to bring this in. We've got this piece, this piece, and this piece. Okay. So as you remember, we only threw away one quarter of an inch by, what was that, three inches of designer series paper off of this stack of paper that we cut. That's not bad. That's not bad waste. And I showed you the paper saving trick of cutting out the centers of that gold foil. So um, saving that paper as well. And we're going to add this here. Okay, so there we go. We got our layouts. Now let's talk about these. How are we going to do these cards? Okay, let's do it. So remember our strips that we cut. All right, we've got those. I'm just going to move these over. I cut two pieces of cherry cobbler that is two inches by six inches. These were one and three quarters by six inches, remember? And then I've got two pieces of evening evergreen. We're gonna go get our paper trimmer again. So look at me, now I have, I'm gonna have 24 cards when I'm done with this video, when I come back and add the front of those cards. To make 24 Christmas cards in, let's see, we are what, how long? We've been at 30 minutes so far on this video. Um, me doing a little bit of chatting, but still, that's not too shabby to make 12 cards. All right. So I am putting this corner and this corner in the gutter of my paper trimmer, and we're going to cut. Okay. Now, we're green on both sides, so it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to do the same thing. It doesn't matter which way you turn this. You could do it this way. You could do it that way. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing to our paper. I'm going to cut it the same. Corner to corner. Same with the cherry cobbler. Now, obviously, it's going to take you time to do the decorating of your cards. But, you know, having the layouts and the bases done is a huge step. You know, some people work on their holiday cards for months. And so having this thought, having this idea is really good if you um, haven't started on your Christmas cards, if you um, haven't finished your Christmas cards. But remember, this is not just Christmas. I have 24 people in my family. You don't think I need a lot of birthday cards? If these were birthday designs, I'd be set. Okay, let's see now. Oh, I need, I know what I forgot. I did forget one thing. Um, and I tell you what, I'm going to just teach you how to do this concept. So for this piece, I needed a piece of, let's make sure that this is, yep. I want a piece that's five and a quarter by four. So I've got that. And we're going to take, I don't know, I haven't done one with this pattern. We're going to see what it looks like. We're going to take our, um, where's our, here we go. <coughs> we're going to use liquid glue. We're going to give a thin line of liquid glue to that tip, making sure that we get that tip. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
And then we're going to pick this up. And we're going to line this up how we want it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let that glue set for just a second. And then we're going to take... <coughs> <coughs> y'all why am i coughing i'm not even live <laughs> the allergies have been really bad here with um the ragweed is what i'm figuring out that i'm having issues with here in texas um, but we've had a little cold snap so i'm hoping that that will settle down all right so i am lining this up where's the edge of my card whoops this is why you want liquid glue, so you can do all that wiggling and get the tip of that card where you want it, okay? And then we're going to take our other piece that matches, okay? And <clears throat> we want this to either be like this or like this. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. How do you want it to look? We're going to do mine this way. And again, with the liquid glue, okay, and this is just the easiest way. This is what my, my downline or my team member, Christine, taught us. And so this is how we're doing it. Um, I guess you could trim it down before you put it on, but that seems kind of hard to me. The main thing I want you to focus on is that tip. Okay, we're gonna line this up here. There you go. Okay, we're gonna take and put our glue away. We're gonna grab our snips. We're gonna turn this over and we're gonna trim off the excess. And just like that, we have our layout. So I think you get the gist. All those other pieces that we cut, you can do the same thing. I think I lost a few pieces with my sleeve of my shirt. But you can do the same thing to make these cards, okay, like we did here. And I am done, pretty much. I mean, I've taught you the layout. I hope that... Um, Whoops, there we go. I hope that this is a great idea for you. Uh, like I said, you could do a little shuffle and shuffle them up and have a multi multi multiple colors on one card. I wanted greens and reds on, I wanted them separate. So I opted from my way. Uh, but you know what? When you're making your cards, you make it your way. I hope that you have been entertained tonight and inspired when um, you are ready to make your cards, I hope that you'll refer back to this video um, and make sure you go over to my blog and you can get, let's just pop this up here really quick. We've got a banner here. We've got, um, well, that's who I am, Texas Stampin' Sharon. My blog is www.txstampin.com. You can look for the October 20th uh uh, blog post and you can download your free tutorial there so that you can use this concept for your cards. So um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me and happy stamping y'all.